And the police are checking phone records. And Detroit investigators say they do not believe this was a random act. And Jane Bashara's husband understands police wanting to talk to him. Obviously, they have to do a job. Someone did this to my wife. Um, they have to start. They usually start. They said start closest to the home and then spread out. And so I'm. They, you know, I'm doing what I need to do to cooperate with the authorities to find who did this to my wife. Investigators asked Bob Beshara to come to the Gross Point Park Police Station to talk to them about his wife's murder. And without hesitation, he did. And police say he's been cooperative. They have a job to do, and I want to help them find whoever did this to my wife. So I fully cooperated with them. After a meeting for work near downtown Detroit Tuesday afternoon, it's believed Jane Beshara, a marketing executive, made it back to her home in Gross Point Park. But what happened after that? Why might she have left and what led up to her murder? Yesterday morning, Jane's Mercedes was found in an alley near Seven Mile in Hoover in Detroit. She had been strangled. Bob Beshara says he didn't think anything was wrong when he first arrived home around Around 8 Tuesday night. When I walked in the house, I thought she was in the house somewhere. And it wasn't until I went up and changed and then searched through the house and then went out in the garage to see her car was gone that I knew she was out. And I quite frankly thought she was running an errand. She went to CVS or to wherever, and I thought she was running an errand. And when the time elapsed, it got to be 9, 9 30, I became, and if she wasn't answering her phone, I became very concerned. And I had my mother come over and uh, because I just, you know, wanted to, to have her just be there. Uh, and then I called the police after a while and said, I think there may be something going on here. And police are not saying anything about Jane Bashara's credit cards that may have been used or even if they were stolen. Anyone with any information on this case is urged to call Gross Point Park Police or Detroit Police Homicide Investigators. Reporting live in Gross Point Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kimberly, thank you for that live report. We, of course, be staying on top of this story.